Altrincham have gone down by a single goal defeat to Gateshead this afternoon and we're talking to uh, Dave Parton who made his debut in goal and had a really accomplished uh, performance. First of all, Dave, uh, uh, I'm sure you're delighted to be selected by uh, Lee Sinnott this afternoon. Yeah, obviously um, I've come here to play. Um, I was disappointed to be left out at the start but saying that, she has been here for 15 years, it was his top to miss. I'm just, I'm just delighted to get going now, hopefully I can kick on from here. We've lost the game 1-0, but I thought there were plenty of uh, positives in the performance. Yeah, obviously, they're a good team. They, they're there. It showed today, their passing is probably one of the best in the league. So, the way we worked was trying to keep our shape for as long as we can. Unfortunately, that goal before half-time stopped it a bit. But I say, there's loads of positives. We had the chance right at the end. If Masha scores that, then at the end, it's a totally different result, a totally different outcome for us. There weren't too many chances in the end, in the game uh, for either side, so it was always going to take a moment of uh, class perhaps to win the game. And I'm sure we were disappointed defensively with the goal, but it was a good header. We were disappointed with the goal. Um, we thought it could have been stopped earlier on up the pitch. And defensively, looking from it, um, the smallest lad on the pitch has scored the goal in its head, and we don't want to do, we don't want to see that. Um, good header when he's got there, but we want to try and stop it getting there in the first place. So we were disappointed as a team with the goal today, yeah. Ironically, uh, Marcus Madison, who all the scouts are watching, I know there was certainly Burnley, Sheffield United, Chesterfield, Fleetwood, a number of other teams, clubs here today watching him. He's got a great left uh, peg. Ironically, it was a right-footed yeah. cross that's undone us. Yeah, um, we, I've seen a few videos of him on, on the YouTube and he cuts in more times than not. Unfortunately, he's got Griff on one of them. But saying that, Griff's kept him reasonably quiet today. I don't think that that's the only time he got round Griff, so it's just one of them. In, in, a, in a greater league, in a better league, one chance normally does it. We had uh, two or three half chances, Damien Reeves, in, in the first half, and then, as you mentioned, Tom Marshall in the second half, um, when a little bit more composure and it would have been the equaliser. Well, the gaffer said, um, half-time and after the game, that's the difference in the step-up. In the Conference North, maybe we've come away with a 1-0 win, but it's about taking chances in this league and to be fair to him, every team that we've come up against so far, they've took the chances and that's the difference. The higher you go, the more chances they take. And towards the end of the game, you've been a little bit more employed than you were early doors. Uh, made a great save from the goal scorer, Jamie Chandler, towards the end and you've done ever so well because you seem to have gone down to your right and then you've thrown a left hand up at it. Well, I think it's, it took a little nip off uh, Masha right at the end. Um, but no, that's what I'm there to do. Um, we've opened up at the end because we're obviously going for the going for the goal. But no, so that's that's what I'm there to do. So you can uh, you can take that all day. And a couple of moments where you showed impressive handling in the first half. There was a, a sort of cross come shot that uh, you took very comfortably, but it could have been a difficult one. And the, in the second half, uh, a free kick that uh, if it had got a flick, it could have been different. But you come out and grabbed it very confidently. Yeah, look. Um, I like to think that I come from across his, I'm a positive keeper. That's what I like to think I do. Sometimes I might not get there, but today, luckily, I've, I've got there. So I'm happy with that. And a decent save uh, with your legs. I think it might have been from Ramshaw, the substitute. Yeah, I've, I've gambled. I've, I thought he was going to come across me. So I've, I've gambled with the going across me, but he, no, I'm, I'm just happy. I'm happy with that time, yeah. And three points from uh, five games is not a fantastic return, but I'm sure there was some many positives spoken uh, about by Lisa after the game. Look, when you look at it, oh, we've had a tough start. We probably played four out of five pro teams, and to start off the season, I think they're always going to have a little advantage over us. With obviously they've worked on things every day. The next three games now, I think we're playing part-time teams. Is that right? It's a big three games for us. Hopefully, we can pick up points. Yeah, three out of the bottom four, I think it is, in uh, uh, Nuneaton on Saturday away and then uh, Dartford at home and Alfreton away. So uh, nine points to play for. That's a massive, massive period of the season. Yeah, well, we can look after the three games coming up, we can look at, look at it and assess the season. How is it going so far? So, yeah, hopefully we can get nine points. You've come from uh, Newcastle Town, been there three seasons, playing in the uh, Evo Stick uh, First Division. What's the uh, difference... Com like compared to the Vanarama Conference? It's a massive difference. You're playing with better players, you're playing against better players and you're playing with um, with loads of fans there as well. So it's a little difference, but I'm trying to get terms with it now. 
Thanks very much. That's uh, Dave Parson made his debut today for Altrincham in the 1-0 defeat against Gateshead. We now move on to uh, a 3pm kickoff on Saturday against Nuneaton Town at Liberty Way. The start of three really important matches when Altrincham take on uh, Nuneaton and then uh, Dartford and Alfreton.